Hey guys, my name is Anand. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be discussing about one of my recent purchase, which is Dell Power Edge R520 server. But before we jump into the details, I just wanted to rewind a bit. If you guys have watched my previous video, I shared with you guys that I also got Dell Power Edge R320, which is just a younger version of this server. So in that video, when I was sharing about R320, I discussed how I installed Proxmox virtualization platform in it and what all I did in terms of upgrading that server. So if you have missed that video, I'll share the link in the description. Please go ahead and check that video out after watching this video. But coming back to this video. So yeah, I was just searching through Facebook marketplace and I found that a local enterprise was selling this R520 server in just $80, which is not the US dollar, but the Canadian dollars. But I think it's still very cheap given the specs on it. So before I deep dive into it on a very high level, I just wanted to mention some of the points, which I felt it is very nice to have in the server that it has two CPU sockets. It has a bunch of PCI slots in it. It comes with two power supply and it can also accommodate eight hard disk. And in this video, I'll give you a very quick walkthrough of the server as well as I'll just show you guys what all I am doing in terms of upgrading this. I'll be installing more RAMs in it. I'll be installing NVMe adapter. I'll make SSD as my bootable drive and so on. So before wasting any much time, let's start right away. Okay, first thing first, let's take a peek under the hood. Inside we have got some serious hardware guys. The R520 comes equipped with two E52630 CPUs, giving us a total of 12 cores and 24 threads to work with. It also came with 16 GB RAM, but it can support up to massive 386 GB. Speaking of customization, the R520 comes with an H310 mini SAS controller, which I'll be flashing to IT mode to pass through my HDD directly to the operating system. As I mentioned earlier, we have also got three PCI slots for expansion, allowing us to tailor the server to our specific needs. I am particularly impressed by the modular fans which can easily be swept out for maintenance and upgrades. And let's not forget about the iDrag port for remote management, which will come handy to access the server remotely. R520 comes with dual 750W PSU power supply for redundancy. Now the fun part, let's talk about upgrades. I'll be adding two 16 GB ECC RAM modules to bring the total to 48 GB, along with an NVMe adapter for potential caching or storage enhancements. Additionally, I'll also be installing a dual port 10 GB network card for high speed connectivity between the NAS and the other systems. To optimize the power consumption for now, I have actually decided to remove one CPU for now and install it later when our workload increases. But before that, I have to bring all my RAM to the same channel. And lastly, I'll be replacing the optical drive with a SATA caddy to install an SSD for a bootable drive. And of course, no storage setup is complete without some custom touches. I have 3D printed caddies for our hard disk since it didn't came with any hard disk caddies. But perhaps the most exciting feature for me is the ability to accommodate up to 8 hard disks, making it perfect for running a NAS setup. And there you have it folks. 
Our Dell Power Edge R520 is now primed and ready to tackle all our storage needs with ease. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for joining me on this journey and stay tuned for more exciting updates from my home lab. Bye for now.